Today we spoke with two companies, both of which seem to have solved the age-old problem of how to be in two places at one time. One is taking a high-end approach, the other a little bit more of a simplistic view. I'm out here at CES in Las Vegas right now, but I really should be in the office because I'm supposed to be sitting in a meeting. Well, if I had this product from Double Robotics, I could be in that meeting right now. Jay Liu is going to tell us how this works. Thank you. Yeah, this is uh, Double. It's our office robot for telecommuter, so you could be uh, anywhere in the world and still be at the office over a Double. Now, from what I understand, a lot of people, including some folks in your company, use this. How does that work? It works great. So RJ is our guy from Brooklyn, and uh, we're in base, based in Sunnyvale, California, and he calls in every day. And it's, it's like he's actually in the office. Now, could I be interviewing you right here? Yes. Yes. <laughs> right here. See, that, that, that system works pretty well. Tell us a little bit about how the technology, slide over here. Tell us a little bit about how the technology works. Okay, so this is a regular iPad that you slide into our robot, and the, the, so the iPad is basically the robot's head. And to control this, you have three options. You can use an iPad or an iPhone, or if you don't have any Apple devices, you can use a browser because we have a web interface. Oh, great. Let me slide back here. I'll slide over here. And perhaps you can show us how this moves around. Let's say, let's say you got to go to another meeting somewhere. Okay. So uh, the controls are pretty easy. You have a forward button. I'm going forwards. And uh, I can turn left. I'm turning left right now. I can turn right. And uh, another option here is uh, you can also adjust the height. I'm going to go, I'm going to lower my height. And the reason why this is important is because if you're going for a meeting and everyone's sitting down on a chair, then you want to lower your height so that they can maintain that eye level. Whereas uh, in a situation like this, when everyone's standing around in a circle, I will increase my height so they can keep that eye level. Well, this seems like a great product and uh, it's really made its mark here at CES and I, I know we're going to see it in offices nearby. Yeah, yes, uh, we, we've shipped over a thousand of these actually, so around the world. So they've, they've, uh, a lot of telecommuters are using them now in various offices around the world. And uh, we've got a charging dock today. Uh, we, we just announced it yesterday actually. And yeah, hopefully we'll, we'll use, you'll see it uh, near an office near you. Great. Well, uh, one last question. Uh, price point and where can we get it? Yes, uh, it is 2500 without the iPad. And you can get it from our website at doublerobotics.com. Terrific. Thanks, Jay. And now, thanks to a company called Beam, we're going to look at a little bit more of an extreme way to telecommute, thanks to a visit from our friend Sarah. Why, hello. Hi, Sarah. How are you? I'm doing fantastic. How are you guys here at CES 2014 at the Suitable Technologies booth for Beam? Well, we're doing great. I would say I wish you were here, but clearly you are. I am here. I can go forward, backward, three miles an hour. I'm connected via Wi-Fi in this five 200-pound body. And it allows me to be with you fine people in Vegas, tour around the CES grounds, and then still catch my New York meeting in an hour. Well, now, that, that's the whole concept behind the BEAM program, is the ability to be in two places at once. Yes, yeah, so essentially I'm here in Palo Alto, California, sitting at the desk, and I'm navigating using my mouse or my arrow keys. I can go left, right, forward, backwards, I can spin, and um, I can make sure that without hopping on a plane and costing my company rental car, hotel, or airline fees, I can then attend that investor relations meeting, I can host that lecture, and I can still walk the hallway of my LA office to make sure everyone is where they're supposed to be. How long has the company been doing this, and what happened? applications have you seen with the product? So you guys probably saw one of our earliest prototypes on the Big Bang Theory as shell bot. And um, the application started out with humanitarian and giving those that were paralyzed or sick the opportunity to cruise around and have the human experience. But of course, the business world quickly scooped us up and begged us to create a commercial version, effectively helping the best and brightest minds in the medical field or the educational field. Um, what's the price point? How can you buy it? So right now they're a little under $20,000, including the service and support, the docking fee, and the machine that you see before you. Wow. That, this is a terrific product, and you've been a wonderful spokesperson, Sarah. Well, thank you very much for your time. We love having you guys, and CES is one of the greatest shows, so we appreciate being here. Terrific. Thanks. Thanks so much. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye-bye.